What if I told you that you can do this? What? You don't believe me? <laughs> Hello there, I'm Kevin Cabrera, your trusted game developer, and in the next few minutes, I'm gonna teach you how to make the Google T-Rex game. Download now the sprites to start creating your first video game. Let's get into it. First things first, the software used to start coding this project is Visual Studio. This software is an IDE, compatible with multiple programming languages, but for this project we are using C. Visual Studio features an interactive console and provides code suggestions, making our code writing more efficient process. Once in, we can rename the title of the form to start importing the sprites and the background color. Let's start adding some components, the floor, which is the color too. Now we add three more components, one for the T-Rex and two for the obstacles. We're going to select the corresponding sprites and select auto size. It's the same process for the obstacles and then just place them on the ground. Following, we want to bring from the ground to avoid issues with the white background for each sprite. Once set, let's tag the obstacles and rename the T-Rex sprite to call them later on the code. Next, we add one label for the score and with that set, we need a timer as well. After this, we are creating a main game timer event. In the properties of the same event, find the key down and the key up to create the event. Now, in the code window, we define variables we are gonna be using. The random class is for creating a random maximum or minimum number. Here we find the first function and this is a default function that is telling the code to initialize all the components available on the form of the game. So we want to link this same function with the game reset function. So whenever the game loads, the game reset function loads as well. Now we are creating a for each loop for the obstacles, identifying and moving them away. Thereby, once they disappear off the scene, are gonna start coming back in. For the if function, if x is a picture box and it has a tag of obstacles, it will take the position integer previously defined and it's saving the size.width of the form and adding a random number between 500 to 800 to move the obstacles between that pixel range. We want to move the obstacles further to give more time so the player could react on time and jump over the obstacles. For the key down event, if the space key is pressed and the variable jumping is false, since we don't want to be jumping all the time, we need to go down. That's the reason for this configuration. And that's all for this event. So far so bueno. <laughs> for the key up event, if the key is up, it's gonna look for the jumping variable. And if this is true, it's gonna change it back to false. Right here, we are creating an if function to call for the game reset function. Therefore, if our key is pressed and if the game is over, then it will run the game reset function, starting the game again. We are making the main game timer event now, creating all the instructions within the game. First step, setting the jump speed of the T-Rex. Then the game will show the score. In the first if function, we are delimiting how far can the player jump. The second if is for pushing the T-Rex upwards. After the else function, once the player has jumped, if the force is below to zero, it's gonna change the jump to false. And in this way, the T-Rex will return to the ground. Another if function is needed in case the T-Rex goes below our initial Y position. In order to return it, to its default Y position. Now we must configure the obstacle's movement. For this purpose, we create a for each loop. If X is a picture box and it has a tag called obstacles, it's gonna move at a certain speed. Afterwards, we create an if function to respond the object after it has left the scene. Very similar to what we have done in the reset function, but here we are changing some variables. Additionally, we configure the score. When the obstacle has successfully left the scene on the left, 
means that we have jumped adding points to the score. But we must to create an extra if function for the collisions. Once the T-Rex intersects with our X, in this case our obstacles, it's gonna stop the game timer denotating game over. Moreover, it's gonna change the T-Rex for the dead T-Rex sprite, plus showing our score on screen with the message restart the game. At this point, world game will be done, but just for fun, why don't we increase the speed once we hit certain score? Let's get into it. We want to create a simple if function, so if the score is greater than 10, the speed will increase from 10 to 15, putting into the game a little more difficulty. There you have it, your first video game done. See, it was not rocket science. Smash up the thumbs up, comment down below and follow us everywhere. For me, that's all. And remember, I'm Kevin Cabrera, your trusted game developer.